getting in it. I got about 10 of them over here, small ones. Half ounce to five inch swim bait. Glow and salt and pepper. So they're all been there for me. Maybe you get some. Yeah. You too. outside the whole time staring. Oh really? He likes it out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wants to be out there staring the whole time. He loves it. <laughs> and Grady wants to be in here. Yeah, Grady don't want to be out there. Grady comes in, looks at you to get up in the seat. He's like, you put him <laughs> up there and he's like, yeah. And nestles down. Whereas he's a Parker's, all, I mean, he'll, he'll be there the whole time. He's sweet the whole time. <laughs> mm, you can't get enough of it. I got to get in my life now. Yeah. Yeah, right now there's not too much going on. It'll get Yeah, because eventually he's going to jump out. Yeah. Without question. The trouble is, I got to go somewhere to measure him. Well, I guess I'm, you know, online. Yep, man. He stands up the whole time, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, Ray, Ray. 
Took it a minute to find the GPS. With our two puppy dogs, Grady and Parker. Grady's the Chihuahua. Parker's our new puppy, rescue puppy. We think he's a big old something or another, but they're good boys. And they're getting used to our brand new boat. Our first time with the Magma Grill. We're cooking some filet mignons, which were the only two pieces of meat, by the way, left in the grocery store. So we went fancy pants on COVID. So we'll see how it turns out. Show us your work area over here. Oh, this is great. So Bill Judge and the fine folks at Judge Yachts, this is a beautiful bait station, but it's a his and hers boat for sure. Because while we can use this for fishing, we also use this for entertaining. So this is just like my kitchen counter at home. I've got my boat tools, all of my kitchen, kitchen things, my cooking backpack. I've got all my spices here. All the things we would normally cook with all lined up and uh, we're just really excited to be out on the boat instead of sitting in the house so we'll see how these uh steaks turn out i went ahead and pre-did some potatoes before i came out on the boat and again this is we're trying to keep it simple for the first time out but i have a whole cookbook that i have prepared and yes i am a type a chick so here is my cookbook that I've started making for boat recipes and it's a brand called right in the rain and literally it's a special pen special paper special cover and you can write even in marine conditions so I've already started on things that I want to make this summer and this uh, spring so we're excited to give it a try Okay, so they're coming off the grill, and I kept these steaks simple. It's just a little Emerald Lagasse seasoning with salt and pepper. Uh, Brian, why don't you tell us how to turn the grill off, because this is my first time using it. Just turn it yeah, that way, and we'll let it cool down. Always, always let your meats rest for at least five minutes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start a Siri timer, and in five minutes, we're going to try these bad puppies out. What do you think? Your test, your ta my constant taste tester. It's restaurant quality. <laughs> it's 401k quality. Yeah. That's the name of our boat, guys. 401k. So, this is my steak, awaiting eating, and the dogs are going crazy because it does smell amazing on the boat right now. So cool that you can come out on a boat like this in March in the Mid-Atlantic and grill outside and have a nice meal. Mm -hmm. We love it. Best decision we ever made getting this boat. Thanks to Bill Judge and all the folks there who made this possible. They rock. So Brian, talk to me. Okay, we've had the boat since Friday. Friday. Today's okay. Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Right. Okay, impressions of the boat. This was, by the way, two years in the making. Lots of research Brian and I did. A custom build. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I don't want to bore people with all the process. That yeah, we went that's why it's synopsis. You know, yeah, yeah, of <laughs> how we got to tonight, you know, being on the boat tonight, eating steak. But uh, yeah, I mean, we just, you know, we had a smaller center console before, which was, uh, a, it was a, it's an excellent boat for what it is. And it's been wonderful, but um, we wanted a little more size to do some other things and then we thought maybe if you know camping and all that kind of stuff a little bit here and there which we've always wanted to do and uh, i'm not much of a land camper but uh i took the little center console and did some camping around chincoteague by myself and all and that was it was great so anyway just wanted some more flexibility with things and ended up dialing in with the it went black it, it, yeah tap it 
So then we uh, got, you know, to Bill Judge, Judge Yachts, you know, we thought that 24 would fit in the slip uh, barely and would uh, meet our needs the best, you know. Plus he was local, you know, and he has a stellar reputation. So uh, we, get, you know, worked with him and he put everything together for us, him and his team, and now it's on the water. And the initial impressions are amazing. Um, is it better than you expected, as you expected? It's as I expected, yeah. It's just... Um, you know, because we were so close in, you know, developing it with Bill and all the research we've been doing and the notes we've been taking, being on other people's boats and things like that, you know, we got it uh, pretty dialed in. But so it's, but it's a great boat, you know, it, 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 you know, we still are learning how to run it and trim it and all the little details, the porter bracket on it gives you some extra options and, you know, we're all learning all that, but everything is working, you know, excellent at the moment. And uh, so, I mean, I just love it. You just need a little bit of fishing today. You know, it worked out great by myself. Easy to walk around the boat, you know, but yet, you know, big and roomy. Uh, it's a real heavy boat. You know, it feels good in the water. Uh, I think it takes the bay chop really well. So I'm very happy with that. We and both caught fish this weekend, by yeah. the way. Oh, yeah. yeah we caught Rockfish a good bit, yeah. at the Route 90 Bridge. They are biting. Small ones, but still fun. Yeah, real small, but they're biting. And, uh, but it's been super mild winter, so that you know the water temperatures. It was like 57, 58 over the weekends. 51 today after the cold front's come back through a little bit, cooler front. But still, 51 in March is is good water temp. You know and the rockfish you know, are moving and eating, so it's great. So boat's superb. Everything's great. We got a lot more to learn on it and slowly dial it in and get it built up for fishing and getting uh, ready for that and trying camping. But outstanding boat. I mean. I, you know, every day I get happier about it as I get, you know, more things dialed in and, and more comfortable with it. How about you? Well, I love that. My doggies love the boat. Look how comfy they are. They just love it. Parker is our new addition, and he is more of an outdoor doggy. Grady is my uh, indoor dog, and he loves being up on this beautiful big El Sete. We have some towels on here to protect it from the dog's claws. But it's actually beautiful. We've got beautiful blue custom piping to match the blue um, isinglass that we have. And, I mean, again, here we are in March in the Mid-Atlantic, and we are outside, basically grilling outside. I mean, we would have to wait till about end of May, June to do this normally. So we just couldn't be more thrilled. And we have a lot more adventures planned to bring you guys. But right now we're both giddy with excitement. Ha, ha, ha.